Facebook. Hanging on back with another silence. It's silence breakdown. I done got silence breakdown. Oh man, you don't know. I've been waiting for this one. And also, it's been sitting on my shelf. Because this is one of the toys Manabu and Yonsu brought back from Japan. Oh man. And out of all the Arms Micron molds, this was the one. I wanted most. I gotta be honest. I mean, I done wanted this more than any other mold, and it is oh, fantastic. Cause I done love Silas. He is just awesome. And when they put him in Breakdown's body, it was like, all right, now we're gonna see some awesome, awesome things. And then they ran out of time and everything else. So, huh. We hardly got to see Silas Breakdown, but in my imagination, yep, that picture at the beginning, that's what I want to see. Just like I told Hand Hands. I was like, Hand Hands, make a picture, and it's got to be Breakdown Fighting Megatron. Yeah, just just make it awesome. Yeah, and he did, and I love that picture. Good job, Hand Hands. But anyway, this is it. Silas Breakdown. AM24 and let's just take a look and then we're going to open them up and I'm not going to go through the transformation because um, you could just check that out on the swerve video it's the same and uh, yeah so uh, we're just going to look at this and I'm going to get some nice details on it so especially Silas and yeah we'll compare them with a swerve and breakdown so you can see the three and man let's just get to it all right, so let's just go over here, and oh man, look at that. We have the Arms Micron, and there's his Arms Micron over there, and they have some kind of Arms Micron technical data. You know, HP is 100, SP 100, and AP 500. I have no idea what that is, but they got it. And uh, the name of his uh, Micron is Maggie. No, I'm sorry, not Maggie. Magi, ma, cause Japanese is kind of like ma. No, wait, ma, magi. Ah, oh, that's right, it's magi. Yeah, I'm wrong, cause it's ma mi mu me mo, like that. So magi. All right. <sighs> At least not Maggie, because uh, I don't know. Fu said something that I would be like chasing around Maggie or something with zombies, and I don't like zombies. I'm done scared of zombies, let me tell you, because I saw Michael Jackson's Thriller, and I know what they make you do. I mean, you become a zombie, and you have to dance, and look at me, I got little arms, I, those ain't dancing arms, and you should see what I got for feet, not pretty, not pretty, oh, fear the zombies, uh, uh, never mind, never mind, uh, anyway, um, we got right here the back. And we could see the awesome, awesome, awesome Silas right there. You can see the weapons. And it looks like he attached the Megatron gun, maybe? Yeah, I think. It's maybe Megatron's gun is in there. And also, it looks like we got Unicron's arm. Yeah, so that's pretty cool right there. And then let's turn it one more time and get to the tech specs. Oh, man. And let's take a look at, man, what is Silas like? I mean, really. So let's see. He got the strength of a 10. Prepare for a butt whooping, Megatron. He's got the intelligence of a 3. Intelligence of a 3. What? Oh, okay. That, that, that's off. You know, that, that is off. No way does Silas have the intelligence of a 3. I mean, a three is like me or something. I mean, actually, I think I'm probably two, two, three. I forget. I, numbers and me, they don't work together. Anyway, let's move on. I'm going to give him intelligence of a ten. That's right, ten. Anyhow, speed of a six, endurance of an eight, rank of a five, courage of an eight, fire blast of a ten. Take that swerve. Yeah, I'm talking to you. And the skill of a nine. So man, Silas Breakdown is awesome. And ready to keep up. So uh, let's go back to the front. Oh man, this is going to be great. 
So, uh, yeah, there he is. So, I'm going to open him up and sticker him up. And then we'll get to the comparison. Oh, it's going to be awesome. All right, let's go. Woohoo! It's going to be great. All right, and here we have uh, Swerve's soul or saw. Um, Silas is uh, Mantis, praying Mantis, uh, Magi. And then we have uh, Zam, Breakdown Zam, who was a rhino. So we have a rhino, praying Mantis, and then we have just a robot. And I just want to show these two guys with them, so I'll just move them back into the background and just take a look at very cool i do like this this is probably one of my favorite uh of the macrons because he's just a cool you know praying mantises are cool and uh yeah they did a nice job you know you could tell what it is nobody has to explain it to you you can easily tell what it is he's got a little articulation on him so he's got of course his feet for the transformation they move in so you have that and for his arms he's got two joints here and on the inside here so you can go back with the arm you can move these around and uh, that's really it so to get him into his uh, weapon mode I guess we just lay him down like this and then close off these guys like this so you close that like that and then you have some type of blades or a gun and then you just you know can do your usual you know and of course you can move lay him down you can move the blades forward like uh, claws of some kind so uh yeah that's it all right let's get to breakdown all right and here we have silas breakdown in his vehicular mode and on top is uh, McGee doing his best impression of a uh, surface tear missile launcher thingy. Yeah, it's kind of how I would like. If I, if I were to put it on there, I would definitely use this as the uh, weapon, but I don't really like doing that, so just wanted to show you that. And as far as ports go, He's got ports, 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 one port back here, and on the side, one port, two port, three ports, yeah, looks like three ports right there, and the very back, nah, none, but yeah, just tons of uh, ports for the uh, arms macron, and just so you can get the look of the three of them. Now, out of the three, I'm partial to the original but man you know i really like the original but man this is real you know i love that chromey part in the front makes them look much more beefier and yeah i, I might be leaning towards a uh, silas now but uh yeah we just see the sides and they're basically same exact or not basically they are they are the same exact mold. You're not getting anything new. You're not getting anything like, wow, that's different. No, the only new thing is this front piece. That's it. Everything else is exactly the same. So you're really, you know, you're getting breakdown mold. All right, we go to the back, and we got the back. Same, same, and same. Right there, we got the back. Right there like that. And, uh, yeah, so really, Breakdown, Silas version is just, wow, I do like it. Now, you have the optional stickers, you know, Decepticon stickers and the mech stickers. They also have, like, uh, cracks, and I'll show you that in one second. On the sticker sheet, they have these, like, cracks, metallic cracks that you could put on if you want now me I didn't want to put them on the figure but it is an option and they also had uh, two little uh, mech that you could put on which I did not all right so uh, yeah there he is and I know I said I wasn't going to transform him but how why not it'll be fun all right let's go all right this is Silas 
And man, oh man, that is pretty cool. I do wish they had colored it. Because right now it's just a gray mass. But you can tell that's him in there. With all the circuitry all built in. And it does look very, very nice. It is small. I'm not going to lie to you and say, oh, it's huge. No, he's tiny. He is teeny tiny in there. And when I back up, you'll see. But uh, yeah, so right there. That is the stylus that is inside. I haven't been able to get it out. I think you can remove it, but I haven't been able to. I'm not going to break the toy to try. So, uh, yeah. All right, let's get to the transformation on this guy. Now, just open up the back here. Once you open up the back here, you're going to take the side and just pull out and straighten out the leg. Same thing here. Push out, straighten out the leg here. Now, I know I'm going a little bit fast. Oh, sorry. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to rotate this and move this piece here. And as we rotate, eventually it'll get to a point where, oh yeah, that fits right like that. Then move the foot out. So once again, we're going to just go rotate this, flip this one around. And as we rotate, it'll reach the point where, yeah, there it goes. Locks right in. This one here, like this. Now we're going to swing around to the front so right there now we got his hips done next part is going to be the arms and we're going to go first things first and that is okay right up here we're going to push out for the shoulders so we push out the shoulders and then what we're going to do is here are his arms up here and his arms connect up here now we're going to go separate up here and then we're just going to go see this joint here and you're going to just pull this way and then move them down. So we're just going to rotate at that joint right here and then one, two, two clicks there. Once we do that, now that we have this, now we're going to go and as you open this up, you're going to turn, pull this down. So you're going to pull this down and then push this out and also there's a secondary joint in here, and you're straighten that. So it's like this, straighten that one out. We're going to do the same thing over here, straighten that joint out. Now normally in all the breakdown swerve, you have to push this piece in, but because of this, it can't. So what we're going to do is, we're just going to go and move it down. We're going to move it down, and we're going to take these, move the arms like this, and as we move this guy down, we have to do one more thing, and that is these two pieces here need to slide. So we're going to just come over here. This guy slides this way. This slides this way. And then right here, come down. Locks into place very nicely. Head, move the head like this, and we're almost done. Last thing here, the arm. You're just going to go take the hand flip this piece around there's his hand and do the same thing right here flip it down right like that and there we have the awesome Silas breakdown and let's get to the detail all right and there you have Silas breakdown and just look at that face mold that they did there it is awesome. I mean, look at the cracks on it. I mean, it really looks like Breakdown. He has been through a lot. A really fantastic molding. And the fact that they molded it on the clear plastic, because you can see the eye, it really does have a great effect right there. And you can just see how awesome the details are on it. How fantastic that really does look. I mean, wow. This really makes me like this Silas breakdown a lot. I mean, even the face is just so, so well done. I mean, really, really nice. But it wouldn't be, you know, comparison if, why don't we go and get down the original breakdown over here. Just for a look real fast at him. And if we take a look, yeah, you could see the original, his face is nice and smooth. He doesn't have any of those uh, problems with it. So they really did up the ante on, uh, 
on the Silas breakdown. So let's zoom out. Just on in, out. The problem is he's so bulky it's hard to get him to stand together. But uh, yeah, if we can get him to stand fairly close together. I, mean, I think this is about as close. Yeah, that's pretty much as best I can do, guys. But right there, just so you can see the faces. I mean, really, really excellent job. Excellent paint job. And the look of them. Let's just move them back. And wow, wow, wow. We can really see Silas Breakdown. And Breakdown. And really nice War Breakdown as they go. Now one thing I think is awesome. And it is the fact that they actually colored the knees. You know, you don't put stickers. And just to show you, I'm real careful with my stickers and everything but look at this I mean because the knees are stickers and hopefully you can see yeah see I mean that black is already coming up so I'm gonna have to try to glue it or something but yeah it's uh, not nice not nice right there but uh, yeah so it's a paint job there which is a big improvement and man, just look at them. I mean, they actually look really great together. Fantastic. If we go to the back. Oh, forgot to, I forgot to lock that in on uh, transformation. All right, well, there you go. Don't forget, lock in the back part right here. All right, but if we just look at the back of them, I mean, really nice. All the way around, I mean, Silas and Breakdown are great figures. Fantastic. You know, as far as articulation, we get to the articulation right here. So if we go for articulation, yep, he does have shoulder all the way around. He also has a movement, a little bit of movement going up on this shoulder part here. But uh, it'll move that around. All right. For the arm itself, he does have a little bit of movement here. And you can move this piece. So you get a little bit of movement out this way. He's got the elbow in a joint, very tight joint, above the elbow. So he does have that no wrist articulation on him. He does have the waist, of course, for transformation. He can go forward about that, back all the way. You know, it's on a ball joint, so you can move it around. You know, you can go almost. No, you can't go quite 360 on him. Because it's stopped by uh, the leg. But right there, he's got a regular knee. It's a little less than 45. And he's got tilt right there. So you do have a lot of articulation. He's not the most articulated guy. Oh, and his head. His head does move. But he is limited by these pieces here and the shape and size of his head. And he always tends to look, I mean, you can get him to look all the way up, but he doesn't look down. So, he's kind of arrogant like. So, yeah. Very nice. Very nice figure. I like some. And, uh, yeah, let's see three of them together. And there the three of them are together. So, uh, yeah, I think we can get to the summation time. All right, let's go. Woohoo! All right, time for the summation. And man, I am ever glad to have this summation time. Even though I'm a little confused, because I, I just talked to Foo on the phone. And, uh, well, before this review went up, you know, I told him, like, Hey, Foo, guess what? Uh, Handy Hands is drawing a picture. It's going to be Breakdown versus Megatron. He's like, all right, that sounds great. Who's going to win? I said, I don't know. And then he said, well, tell you what. If Hanahan draws Megatron winning, you lose. And if Breakdown wins, I win. I said, oh, no, that don't sound good to me because I like, I like uh, Breakdown. He's like, all right, then. So Breakdown wins, I win. And Megatron loses, you lose. And I was like, yes, that's exactly right. And then after the picture come out, I sent it to Foo, and Foo's like, all right, pay up. I was like, what? But I, I thought I picked Breakdown. And he said, yeah, Breakdown wins. So Breakdown wins, I win. I was like, oh, 
But I thought Megatron, he's like, no, 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 Megatron, you lose. I still don't get how that worked, but it was fair. It were fair. So, uh, yeah, fool, I'm, I'm going to pay up on that. So, anyhow, man, this one is easy. I mean, I know there's a lot of people looking for Breakdown or Silas, but, man, this guy is awesome. I, I do love it. I love the way it looks. I love the fact you don't have to sticker those knees, which, uh, yeah, as you can see with Breakdown, is peeling up and such. So, uh, yeah, which one's the best? Wow. That's tough, but uh, I don't know. I, I'm really, at first I was like, oh, I really like Breakdown because he's like really nice looking and just a great figure. But man, man, oh man, I love that chromy front. I love the weathered look of Breakdown, you know, Silas Breakdown. So I don't know. I mean, right now it's by a hair, the original. But man, maybe in a month. Silas is going to win, so, uh, yeah. So, is Silas nice? Yep. Shiny? Yep. Good? Yep. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. That is good. Good toy. Uh, good toy. Uh, bye!